Welcome to our Eats to Seats employee onboarding video. To complete your onboarding, you're going to go to staff.eatsandseats.com and create an employee account. Once you create your account, you'll be able to verify your email address you used to sign up. And once you verify your email address, you'll be prompted to complete the rest of our onboarding steps. Start by filling in your personal details, and then you'll be prompted to enter your residential address information. Please make sure you're entering the correct zip code when you enter this information. Next, you'll be prompted to select the venues you want to work at. The venues prompted will be the ones in your state, so if you'd like to add any others, please contact supportedeatsseats.com and we can get those added. After you select your venues, then you'll be prompted to accept the applicable and required state, federal, and Eats and Seats notices. Then you will enter your direct deposit information. While you can select the manual option, you'll receive direct deposit a lot faster. You can always switch this later on. Next, you'll complete your tax withholdings, and if you don't know how to fill these out, please contact a tax professional for advice. Next, you'll complete I-9 Section 1. You'll need to have your documents ready when you get to this step, which could include a passport, a driver's license, a birth certificate, or a social security card. After Section 1, you will then complete Section 2. You need to have someone verify your documents in the room that you're in via their cell phone, and it does not need to be a family member, only someone over the age of 18, like a friend, roommate, or someone else. Once you complete Section 2, you will gain access to your employee dashboard. And remember, you can change any of your onboarding information at any time by contacting support at eatsaseats.com. After you complete your onboarding, begin registering yourself for events. This is required to work an event with us. Join the event-specific group meets for those events. The link is on the event and the website. Complete the alcohol training if it's required watch the training video, and complete the staff training for your venue, and always remember to contact support at with any questions you have.